Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another Dem DIY and this time it's gonna be nuts. Now I know I say that with like every single project I do, but this one for sure is. But I spent 60 bucks just for the materials and fabric that I'm gonna use for this DIY because there's a lot. There's a lot going on with these pants. But now I'll show you guys right now, I'll put them on the screen right now. These right here are called the Botanical Summy Something Flare Denim by the brand Capital. These jeans are running for like 2,300 bucks, which is insane to me. But I mean, I spent 60 bucks, I invested 60 bucks for this project to recreate a $2,300 pair of jeans. So I guess it's worth. Literally everything I learned from my past DIY projects I have to implement everything into this project. But I'm pretty excited because if these jeans turn out okay, I will for sure wear them because these are super nice. Now, when I was looking up the Capital jeans and, and models wearing them, I didn't like how flared out they were. I will flare them out of course, but the amount that they were flaring out their jeans, it was a little bit too much for me. Um, so I will make an adjustment there. So originally I was gonna use a pair of straight jeans from Banana Republic that I thrifted, but fortunately I found an extra pair of Levi's 505s in my room that I can use. And I do prefer using these for DIYs because of its eight inch opening. So that's what I'm working with. But compared to the pants in the picture, these were way too dark. So we gotta throw them in some bleach to line them up. The bleaching process is simple, but if you don't know how, you just fill a bucket with water, mix in a decent amount of bleach, and then dump the pants in it and let it sit three times for 30 minute intervals. The amount of bleach used varies on how light you want the pants to be. So a good way to gauge this is checking out the pants color after letting it sit in the bleach for about 30 minutes because there should be some color changes by then and if there isn't or it's not where you want it then you just add some more bleach. Also make sure to knead the pants into the water to make sure you soak every inch of it otherwise you'll get random dark patches where the bleach didn't reach. But here's how the pants turned out. It's a nice light vintage wash but it's actually lighter than I was originally going for which means I used too much bleach but it still looks dope so it's fine regardless. Before we can add on any patches, there are some that require to be under the belt loops, the Levi's patch, and the butt pockets. Because of this, we have to take those pieces off and set them aside for later. Everything is sewn on, so just flip the pants over and rip the stitches with a seam ripper to remove them. I end up leaving only the stitchings on the top side of the Levi's patch, since it won't get in the way of anything, and I'll keep it in place for when I have to sew it back on. Now the pants aren't at the length I want them to be at, so we're going to open up the hem at the bottom of the pant legs to increase the length by about one and a half inches. Now, since there's creases from the folds, lay a shirt over it and iron it down to straighten it out. Simple. Now for the patches. Now there's a lot, so we need a lot of fabric. This part was the most time consuming, mainly because of how many panels I had to make, but the process is pretty simple in itself. Zooming into the picture, you can see which panels are layered on top of which and which are underneath things like the butt pocket or the belt loops. This is how I figured which fabrics to use for each panels, how to shape it, and which to place first. Once that was decided, I laid a chunk of the fabric flat on top of the area it'll be placed on and eyeballed the shape of it while looking at the reference picture. Once I got a shape that I like, I cut it out with some rotary cutters and then pinned them in place. Now for the majority of the panels on the hip areas of the pants, I mainly sewed them on with a sewing machine if the area allowed me to. But honestly, it was such a hassle trying to maneuver the pants as I was sewing with the sewing machine, so I decided to just hand stitch like 80% of the panels. I mean, I was going to do this eventually since I didn't really want to open up the pant seam. Some panels were required to be on the hip area of the seam, but if you flip the pants inside out, the hand pockets are actually sewn onto the stitchings of the seam, which means that's going to be in the way of the stitchings for the panels. Now because I still want to use my pockets, I ripped the stitchings that was attached to the seam to free the pocket and allow me to freely hand sew that area. The only issue with this is that it opens up the pants seam in that area and it also creates a hole in the pocket so you have to remember to go back and sew them together after everything else is done. Now for the butt pocket panels. I use the same method as the other panels but in order to make the edges of the panels flush and clean, I cut fabric with extra room on the side so that it can fold under the butt pocket. Pocket, basically like adding a hem to the panels to make it cleaner. For both pockets, I use a sewing machine to secure them since I still want them to be functional and I don't want them to be loose and my stuff falls out my pocket, I'm saying, so use a sewing machine.
Before we can sew the belt loops back on, there was one that had fabric wrapped around it. To do this, I cut some fabric that was big enough to wrap around the whole belt loop, pinned it in place, and then hand sewed it on. For this part, I had no choice but to hand sew it because the needle on my sewing machine would have been obliterated if I tried using it because of how many layers the needle would have had to pass through. This was also the same for the rest of the belt loops when I had to sew them back onto the pants. Now something I haven't seen before, on the back of the right leg, there was a picture of what I think is Adam and Eve with the forbidden fruit above them made only with fabric. This right here was my favorite part of the whole design of the pants so I really wanted this to turn out good. The main thing here was getting the proportions right when it comes to the figures compared to the tree and the tree having enough space similar to how it sits in the reference picture. Since I knew there was going to be a lot of trial and error, instead of drawing the outline straight onto the pants, I took a sheet of printer paper, lined it up properly onto the right area of the jeans, and drew a rough sketch of the picture starting with the tree since it was the biggest subject. Once the outlines were done, I cut out four cutouts in total, so the two people, the tree, and then the fruit. And then using these cutouts, I laid them onto the fabric I figured was the best for them and drew an outline of each figure. When they were all cut out, I placed and pinned them where I wanted them to be at and then hand sewed them down. Before adding on the last two panels, we gotta flare out the pants. The opening on these are 8 inches and I want to increase that to about 10 inches because I think that they sit nicely on my shoes at that size. Any bigger, it would just swallow my shoes up. Now this is preference though, if you want to go bigger, it's all you. Now to create a flare, we need a flare panel. Because I want to increase the opening by 2 inches, the flare panel should be about 3 inches wide to allow for a seam on both sides, so half an inch on both sides. I also cut it to 14 and a half inches in length, but this will also vary depending on the length of your pants. Because of the length of the panel, I ripped open the pants seam about the same length and then sewed the flare panel on. Since we opened up the original hem of the pants in the beginning of this DIY, to prevent it from fraying, I sewed a zigzag stitch around each opening. Now the last step was to add the two panels at the bottom of each flare. This was simple, I just cut out rectangular pieces of the fabrics that wanted to be there, pinned them down, and then sewed them on. finally finished it. Those jeans, I've never spent that long on a DIY before, but there was just so many panels and it was so repetitive and it's all just hand sewed or the majority of it was just hand sewed. I was just like, holy crap. And on top of that, I got sick for like a whole week, so I didn't work on them for a week either. So my bad, this video is kind of delayed or really is delayed. But in the end, out of all the projects I've done, these are for sure my favorite. I think they turned out really good. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but in my opinion, they're kind of nice. Like I would rate them straight up 11 out of 10. Like there's probably, the only thing, the only issue I have with these pants, it was honestly, it was just my mistake, is the, I think it's the back left pocket. It's not functional because I actually sewed one of the panels into the butt pocket, so I can't really put my hand in it or anything in it, which is fine because I don't even use my butt pockets anyways. Like I only use the front pockets, so I'm not even gonna bother fixing that up. But everything else, it, it's so nice, especially the picture. Like that picture on the back right leg, I really like how this turned out too. Holy. Like, I don't know why. I never thought of creating a whole picture out of fabric and putting that as patches on your pants. That's pretty cool, right? Like, look at this. It's so sick. Oh my God. And on top of that, I think me using Levi's 505s was the right call because from the knee area up, it's the right fit. And then when I flared it, which is like a, a little bit below the knee and below, it all just flows really well. Like the top is not too skinny and then it just flared out or vice versa, you know? And I think the flare being 10 inches is the perfect size. It doesn't swallow my shoe up and it sits right on my shoe as well. So you can still see that the pants are flared out but at the same time, you can also still see your shoe. But I really have no complaints about these jeans. I mean, I said I bleached them a little bit too much, so they're a little bit light, but in the end, I think it all worked out. But let me know if you guys liked how they turned out. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys see any jeans that you guys want me to try to recreate, hit me up on my Instagram, DM me, send me the picture, and I'll get back to you. But if you guys like how the pants turned out, drop a like, hit that sub button too. I'd really appreciate it. Send me more DIYs you guys want me to do, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.